In our last lesson, we learned about the four physical divisions of Europe, namely the Northwestern Highlands, right here at the top. Then we learned about the Central Plains in details, that is right here, covering most of the land area of the continent of Europe. And today, in this lesson, we will be learning about the Central Highlands. Well, the fourth physical division, that is the Alpine Mountain System, we will be learning about this in our next lesson. So today, let's start with the Central Highlands. So the Central Highlands has a series of mountains and plateaus. Let's name them. Let's start with the Meseta Central right here in Spain, followed by Central Massif and Vogues in France. Then we have Ardennes. Then we have Hearst Mountains and Black Forest in Germany, followed by Bohemian Massif in Czech Republic. So here were a series of important mountains and plateaus that are a part of the Central Highlands. Now, the Central Highlands are young fold mountains. Now, since they are of a recent origin, they have steep slopes and narrow deep valleys. This is a beautiful highland and adds to the beauty of the continent of Europe. Let's learn about some important land formations under the Central Highlands, starting with the Meseta Central. The Meseta Central in Spain, with Madrid at its center, is also known as the Great Interior Meseta Plateau. While this plateau covers an area of 2 lakh square kilometer, as you can see here, it is very huge. It has an average elevation of 660 meters. So the Meseta Central is a part of the Iberian Peninsula in the country of Spain with Madrid at its center. And this is also known as the Great Interior Meseta Plateau. It covers an area of 2 lakh square kilometers and has an average elevation of 660 meters. Now moving forward to Central Massif. Central Massif is in France. The Central Massif, as you can see here in the picture, covers an area of 15% of the mainland France. And also, it has mountains and plateaus. So here we understood that the Central Massif is another important land formation under the Central Highlands and it is present in France covering 15% of the mainland France and it consists of a series of mountains and plateaus. Now moving forward to Bohemian Massif. So as I mentioned in the very beginning, Bohemian Massif is in Czech Republic right here with Prague at its center. So before moving on with our lesson, help me answer this question. Where do we find the Bohemian Massif? Do we find it in Sweden or in Czech Republic or in Ireland or in Germany? Yes, we just learned that the Bohemian Massif is located in Czech Republic. Let's continue with our lesson. So, in the very beginning, I mentioned that the Central Highlands are of a recent origin because they're young fold mountains, right? However, it consists of some mountains which have been eroded over the years to form small plateau areas, example of which we can see here. So, the first example is the Herz Mountains of Germany and we also have the Black Forest of Germany. Now these two mountains being a part of the central highlands, two were young fold mountains with sharp edges and steep slopes. But over the years due to erosion, they have got converted into small plateau areas. So here we understood that the central highlands has a series of mountains and plateaus about some of which we just learned. Now we also need to remember that the Central Highlands has two important rivers flowing over it and that is River Rhine 
and river Danube. Now these two rivers are very important and it flows over the central highland region. The banks of river Rhine consist of old beautiful monasteries, ancient medieval churches, beautiful cities and vineyards. Well, these all make this region particularly the soul of Central Europe. So if you ever happen to sail through River Rhine, then you will be able to admire those beautiful monasteries and those beautiful vineyards yourself. Now, while River Rhine flows over the Central Highland region, it crosses a number of countries. And these are France, Luxembourg, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Austria and Switzerland. So here are two pictures showing the beauty of River Rhine. Have you ever seen these beautiful white pelicans? Well, you will find these beautiful white pelicans in River Danube. Now these pelicans are preserved under strict conservation laws. So let's learn about River Danube now. Just like River Rhine, flows over many countries. Similarly, River Danube also flows over or crosses a number of countries. Let's name them. So River Danube crosses over Germany, Austria, Croatia, Serbia, Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary, Slovakia, Moldova and Ukraine. So that's a lot of countries. While River Rhine flows over a length of 1,230 kilometers, River Danube covers a length of 2,850 kilometers. Yes, that's a long journey. These two images here are glimpses or pictures of beautiful River Danube. So we just saw that River Danube is a beautiful river with beautiful white pelicans. However, over the years, this river has been declared as the most polluted river in Europe. So from a wide ranging global study of 2019, it has been found out that River Danube has the highest concentration of toxic substances in Europe, making it the most polluted river in Europe as well as in the world. So these high concentration of toxic substances in River Danube has led to concerns for ecological safeguards. So if we don't check on our careless activities, then soon there will be a loss of huge number of aquatic plants and animals, which will also lead to the destruction of these very unique water bodies like River Danube. So here we learnt about some important mountains and plateaus of Central Highlands and we also learnt about two important rivers flowing in the Central Highland region. Now, the Central Highlands are heavily wooded regions of Europe is what we need to remember. However, these Central Highlands are lower in elevation than the Alps which are a part of the Alpine mountain system. So in our lesson, we learnt about the third physical division of Europe and that is the Central Highlands. Well, we also learned that the Central Highlands are young fold mountains and because of their recent origin, they have steep slopes and narrow deep valleys. We also learnt about some important massif under the Central Highlands and that is the Meseta Central, the Central Massif and the Bohemian Massif. We further learnt about two important rivers flowing in this region, River Rhine and River Danube. We further learned that the Central Highland region are heavily wooded regions of Europe and they are lower in elevation than the Alps, which are a part of the fourth physical division of Europe, that is the Alpine mountain system. We will learn about the Alpine mountain system in our next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. 
mastered each topic with our adaptive practice technology, get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.